Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and in the previous tutorial, we learned the difference between just having an equals here and having a plus equals here. Because if you just have an equal sign there, and we refresh the page, we start with initial content, and we click load Ajax content, and it gets overwritten. But if we have a plus equals here, and we save, and we refresh the page, now we will see that the information will be added to the end of whatever is in that div. Now, I just want to say that I usually don't use plus equals. It's a better idea to have a div of everything that you want to be replaced and nothing else in it, because what will happen if this user continues to click this button is you will continue to add content because it will take whatever is in there and then add the next little piece. And this might not be what you're looking for. So nine times out of 10, it's probably a better idea to just have a div of whatever the content you want to be in there and then have an, a completely empty div that will just take the contents of what you want, all right? So that's just a quick review of what we did in the previous tutorial. So now in this tutorial, we are going to talk about splitting the response text. So this is just a little functionality that you can do, and maybe if you need this, then it would be a good idea if you saw this. So this is just something that you might do. Some people won't do it, some people will do it, but it's just a little way to learn some of the things you can do with Ajax. So what we want to do is if you see in the page that we are getting, we have a little bit of text, and then we have this BR tag, and then we have a little bit more text. So what I want to say is this is the starting text. And then I want to say, this is the finishing text. OK, so now we have a little bit of text. We have our BR tag, and we have a little bit of text. What we can do is we can actually load into our inner HTML just one piece of this text. So say if we didn't want, we grabbed the URL, we grabbed all that information from there, but we only wanted a certain section of what we, of, um, we, we only wanted a certain section of that response text. There are several different ways to do this, and I'm going to teach you one of them right now. One of them is called splitting the response text. And the way that we do that is we first need to, we first need to put some braces in here, because now we have more than one statement within our if statement. So you need braces, okay? And we are going to add a couple of statements here, and let's take this equals out and save that. And make sure we save this Ajax test. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is let's say var response is assigned Ajax object dot response text. So what this will do is it will take that response text and it will put it in response, okay? So it will take all of this text and it will concatenate it into a string and it will put it all into this response. So now what we want to do is we don't just want to put response in there, but we actually want to split this response. So all we would say is dot split and then in the split, we would say what we want to split it at, so that it would be that BR tag. So make sure that what you, where you are splitting it is the exact same. So we want to have this first part into the first cell of our array, and this second part into the second cell of our array. So now, instead of response being a string, now response is actually an array, and it will have two values. It will have sub zero, which will hold this, and we'll have sub one, which will hold this. So if we want sub zero to be put into our div, we would call sub zero. If we wanted sub one to be put in there, we would call sub one. So the way we do that is instead of putting the entire response text in here, we would just say response sub zero. And what this will do is it will take this first piece and it will put that into the div that we want. So now let's check if it worked. So let's refresh the page. We have initial content in here right now. And if we click this, it just says this is the starting text. But if we come over here and we change this to maybe one and save it, and then we come back over here, refresh the page, this is the finishing text. So what we did was we split this entire string into an array, and then we wanted to only show either the first or either the first cell of the array or the second cell of the array. Another way that you can use this is let's just say maybe let's just do another quick example. If we had something like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. 
So if we save this and we saw that we were parsing this stuff by these delimiter delimiters of um, this uh, little uh, like slash looking thingy. You know what I'm trying to say. But we obviously are parsing this by this slash. So all we would do is we would say we want to split this by that slash. And then we would be able to print out whichever day we want it. So if we load this really quickly and click that, it will go to Tuesday because Tuesday will be into that second cell. So this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I really hope this tutorial was useful in teaching you guys how to split certain things that you want to put into your response text. We're going to be looking at other ways to do this in further tutorials, but I just hope this was a nice introduction and in seeing some of the other cool things you can do with Ajax. So thank you for watching. Again, Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.